Good morning to you. Good morning to you, uh, Miss Selena. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I'm wonderful. You look awesome too. You blessed and highly favored. Yes, sir. All and day and, long. and, and is that am I saying this right? Uh Patrice Ross? Yes. Hello, Patrice. Hi, how are uh, you? Uh, girl, I like your smile. You know, I, 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 when, when, when everybody first came on, uh, 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 first of all, my sister, she was, she, she was doing her hair and everything, and, and, and you came on looking like, okay, now he know this is early, but you know, it's <laughs> never too early to get some great information. So, Selena, tell me what's going on. This is the last day. Tell me. This is the last day. It's the California Venues Grant, um, and this is a grant that is going to be awarded in the amount of $250,000 or 20% of an applicant's gross earned revenue in California for the 2019 taxable year. Well, see, here's, here's my situation. I saw the grant and, and I started speaking in tongues, you know, I, <laughs> oh, Shaba. but then, <laughs> but then um, it, it was all based on the fact that if in 2020, um, um, based on what your income was. So you had to show a loss to apply according to the rules. Correct. But see, this, this help me out with this because see, we had big plans for our 2020 that would have like quadrupled what our, our, our revenue is. But just because we were better in 20 than we was in 19, we couldn't apply. I fell out and I prayed and I fell out and prayed, but they still kept on saying, no, you don't qualify. So let's just talk about the qualifications and um, how quickly can people apply since today's the last day. I'm going to let Patrice take that. <laughs> okay. So um, we want anyone who is an eligible venue to go ahead and apply. Yes, your um, loss does need to be 70% loss based on quarters two, three, and four of 2019 mm -hmm. compared with quarters two, three, and four of 2020. Mm -hmm. um, Twenty um, seventy percent of your um, income should come from ticket sales, uh, beverages like concessions, uh, food, or any merchandise that was sold mm -hmm. um, as well. And this is for events, um, event venues, live events. You must have a physical address in the California area. Um, you have to have a defined performance and audience space, mixing equipment, PA system, a lighting rig, and engage. Um, you have to be like a sound engineer, a booker, a promoter, a stage manager, a security personnel, or a box office manager. At least one of more of those items need to take place. And your performers need to be paid as well. Okay, okay. So let, let, me, let me just call it the way it is, and I want you to answer this. You know, what, what about... What about the pastors, you know, who had to shut their doors, but they, they have been ministering, i.e. performing for, uh, for for 52 weeks, and they had to shut their doors. They got the light rig and everything else, and the income didn't come in the same way. How about that? Can we, can we put the church in it? Unfortunately, churches are not qualified. <laughs> churches nor uh, movie theaters. Really? Yes. Okay, so let's just break it down. So you, if, if I'm an artist, uh, 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 Dr. LT and the LTX, you know what I'm saying? And I had all these bookings, and then when the pandemic hit, I had to shut it down. Uh, uh, and so I lost 100% of my income. Can I apply as an individual, and can, I, can all the Leonard Etz are the LTS, can they apply too? As long as you are set up as a, as a business and you, um, you have that 70% loss, yes. And you rented venues, paid, paid, you paid your performers, um, you sold tickets, yes, you can sign up for the grant. Okay. Now tell me, uh, explain to folks what grant is versus loan because, you know, uh, I, I just wanted to see how well I would do with the SB, uh, the SBA loan because uh, I just thought I'd just go ahead and apply for it. When they came back with 300000 I'd start speaking in tongues even though I didn't want that, that, that loan because I had to pay it back. You know, let's talk about grants versus loans. 
So the grant you do not need to pay back. Okay. But now, but do they do they come back to you after you get the money? Say, for instance, I get the full two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Do they come back next year? I'm like saying, okay, we need to see this, 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 this. Uh, or are you in trouble? There are currently no auditing um, steps in place. But when you sign the cert the application certification, that saying that all those things are correct. So in the event that the government did wish to audit you because of that, yes, you have to have everything in line. Now, my question, here's my next question, because, you know, I don't want nobody to get in trouble. Say, for instance, I qualify for the $200,000, $250,000, and when I get my check, I decided that I've always wanted a Bentley. Can I go out and buy a Bentley uh, with it? Because, it, you know, it was my loss. Can I use my money the way I want to use it now? No, you need to use it for eligible COVID losses. Okay. Such, um, rental, um, to pay employees, things of that nature. You do not want to go out and purchase a Bentley. <laughs> uh, uh, but, but I needed transportation to my events. And so uh, I, I wanted to know if I could buy me a transport. Can I rent a transportation vehicle, a Bugatti? I don't think that's the There ain't no transportation vehicle. Uh, I'm an artist. <laughs> I'm grand. You better get one of them vans like everybody else have done. Oh, can I go? Can I go out and get a Sprinter? Uh, 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 and 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 what they say, trick it out. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay. So the reason why jail. the yeah. reason why I'm asking these questions is because I don't want people to get excited about the money and not realize that there's a responsibility to use the money in the right way. So paying employees, uh, covering venue costs or rental costs, maybe doing some upgrades to help you recover some of the costs. Um, let's just talk about the things that they can use this grant for. So say, for instance, you had to make adjustments because of COVID. You know, we had to put up shields. You had to buy thermometers and things of that nature. Those are qualified uses. Um, as we already stated, rental, mortgage, um, those are qualified uses for the grant. Anything that came about due to it being COVID-related, um, you want to stick to that realm of spending. You don't want to... Um, use it for um, investment losses or anything like that, COVID-related losses. Now, my, my question, now, now here's the thing, because, you know, I'm always believing in generational wealth. Can I take the money and invest it in a COVID research to kind of roll my dollars? No. No? Okay, last question. Uh, can I buy stock in... Uh, in uh, Walmart. Uh, uh, no, I mean, sir, what, what is it? Uh, Pfizer. Cause see that that that's that's that's. If can I buy stock in Pfizer to 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 you know make it reinvest my? Can I buy stock? That wouldn't be a good idea. Okay. All right. So I, I'm just trying to get people. Uh, right, because you know, uh, uh, Selena, you know, folks did videos when they, with these EBT cards and all the they did all kinds of stuff. Now they're facing federal charges, are in jail right now. I just don't want people to get caught up when they hear two hundred fifty thousand dollars. How are they gonna spend it? I'm glad you're asking these questions because it, it seems um, it's funny, it's hilarious. I'm really literally writing down your questions because I'm gonna make a post out of it. But um, I, it's it's the it's something that we do need to discuss. Because mm -hmm. it is happening, wow. and I'm looking at the news every day, and someone is handcuffed and going to jail or being wow. prosecuted because of the fraud. And the fraud is rampant, wow. and it doesn't need to be us. We have to be responsible. And, you know, if you have a business, this is for you. If you don't have a business, don't make up something, because they will find out that that you don't that it's not real. They'll find out, and you will go to jail. So, absolutely. Yeah, and, and, and I think that, you know, um, understanding that these these grants are being made available for you to do better, not to hustle. And there are a lot of people that are applying to these things because they have, you know, the right things, but they're really hustling. And ultimately, the hustle will come back and get you. And so um, I, one of the things that I want to do for all the businesses that are listening is uh, the, the application process is not difficult. It can be done in a day. You just have to make sure that your stuff is right 
and get in there. So let's talk about, for those people that are just hearing about it right now, what do they need to do, where they need to go, and how can they get help so that they can meet the deadline? LT, the application process can be done in, in probably 10 to 15 minutes. Um, the the uh, documents that have to be uploaded don't have to be uploaded today. We just need you to get the application done today. It's very similar to the California Relief Grant where you could go in, fill in the application, get that done, and then come back and upload your documents later. It's the same type of process. Wow. Wow. All right. And, and, so, and Selena, let, let, let's just first be, um, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you to tell everybody about your organization and the services that you offer. I would be glad to. Um, BSBA is an organization that provides, um, uh, gosh, how did I just go blank? Okay. We provide technical assistance, training and development. Um, we are a your information station, anything having to do with finances and and um, grants, loans, any information like that, how to get them forgiven, we can we provide that. We're also an advocacy organization, um, do a lot of advocacy with the SBA on behalf of people who qualify for certain things and, and, and they get denied. Um, we go back and we fight them and tell them, hey, you can't do this. Um, our, our services are free. Um, we don't charge because we believe in what we're doing and we believe that there is an access to information gap that exists specifically in the African-American community and we seek to close it. Amen. And one of the things I love about your organization is that um, you always call everybody back no matter how many people call in. You guys are equipped to service people. And, and, and I love the fact that you will actually stay on the telephone until they get it. And, and, and that's a dope, that's a dope service. And like she said, uh, she said free 99, you know, don't mean that you can't donate to her organization, but she said free 99. Now I'm trying, now I'm coming over here to uh, Lindustry and I'm going to try to figure out uh, while I'm on this telephone, how I get Miss Ross to give me a sponsorship advertisement or something. But Miss Ross, let's just talk about uh, Lindustry because you guys are doing a tremendous amount during this season. Yes, we are. Um, we have given, I believe, over $10 billion out in government funding um, with the grant. So they are really, or we are really doing a lot to help the smaller business community who um, typically wouldn't get this kind of help on a normal basis. Amen. And, and, and what I also love about it is the diversity of your organization. Um, uh, it's very important that when we as business people are doing business that we see each other and we see um, uh, um, uh, people that look like us because our trust level is at a whole different high. So, um, Miss Selena, what, what else would you like to talk about? Because, um, you know, I'm still trying, I'm in my prayer closet right now, trying to figure out how I'm going to get this, this, this grant money. And the Lord done told me, leave it alone, just spread the word. So <laughs> we'll be obedient. So we're going to be obedient. <laughs> I love that. Um, I just, I want to give a shout out to Everett Sands. He's the CEO of Lindustry. Mm -hmm. Um, and he is absolutely just a phenomenal um, individual black man doing his thing. And I just, I have to commend him um, on his hard work and his hustle because he is out there making sure that, you know, we have the information and that um, small businesses, organizations are putting the information out in the community and making sure that, you know, we have a chance to apply and, and to, to get the funding that's available. So shout out to Everett. Um, I wanted to go, go back and touch on something you talked about earlier about the EIDL and, and you said you got approved for $300,000. I, I really think that people need to apply for that too, even though it's a loan. Um, a lot of times we don't leverage loans in our community. If you need the money, you should take it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't need all of it, don't use all of it. Mm -hmm. Pay it back. There's no prepayment penalty. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that precludes you from taking that money and giving it and paying the money back. So, um, you know, if you need it, that money is out there. The deadline for the EIDL is December 31st. Again, you have to have the application in. Um, that doesn't mean that, that it's going to be processed. They still have money that they're giving out even for the targeted advance. So I wanted to go back to that. And just uh, Okay. So, you know, I got a, I got a, I got a favorite ask then, yes. you know, my favorite is, is that can we come back on again soon and you can bring, uh, uh, uh Mr. Everett, you say his name is Everett. Yeah. I will ask him okay. I will, his schedule is impacted. It's taking him like three days to return a text. 
three days to return a text. See, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, <laughs> uh, I want you to send them a text, and 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 I want you to start off by saying, "Praise the Lord, brother." It, <laughs> That's going to shift the atmosphere right there because he 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 going to be like, "Okay, who is this churchy person uh 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 said to be praise the Lord brother." He going to be like, "Oh my god, Selena is crazy believe." <laughs> so, let me just ask this and 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 ladies, this is his real talk. How mm-hmm. is it that in the time of COVID, we're seeing more of us in these big power moves? that are just like we've never seen before. What's going on? Is it something in the water? What, what? You want me to speculate? Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or bragulate one or the other. Okay, this is my opinion, which has nothing to do with Patrice or the industry. This is my opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, black small businesses have lost between, they say between 41 and 47%. Mm-hmm. Permanently closed due to COVID. And, um, my question is how do we get those businesses back? I think the state and I think other entities have realized that, you know, this is, I mean, the small business community, small businesses are the backbone of our economy. California is the sixth largest economy in the world. And we have um, a lot of black small businesses here in the state. Um, And how do you get the information out? We're in spaces that we didn't even know we were in, but now there is a specific need for targeted outreach and to make sure that our community is, 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 is able to take advantage of these resources. Now, what I know is there have been other communities who have written up grants and RFPs and said, oh, we're gonna service the African-American community. But when you look at the numbers, you don't find that. Mm-hmm. You don't find any evidence of that. Mm-hmm. And so they've had to go out and find people that are actually out here doing the work. The industries of the world, the mm-hmm. BSBAs of the world, the California Black Chamber, the other Black Chambers in, 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 in the state of California. So that's what I think is, is happening is that, that there's a, there's been a kind of an awakening um, that, hey, we're here, you know, we're doing business. Make the money available, make the funds available, make the access available to the community. And, and, and I, I just really want to commend Linda Street and your organization uh, for just um, – standing in the gap. There's so many people that have given up. So many people have said that, well, you know, how how we hear all the time, the man done stopped me and I couldn't do what I did. But there's a, a stick to itness that we have always had as a people. And now we're starting to see people understand uh, some simple things. And this is what I love about you, Selena, is that you help people get their stuff right. You, you know, because there are a lot of times that we miss out on things because we have not, we've been business men instead of businessmen and that women. Part. And so uh, it's so important that we learn how to do business with integrity, um, that we don't have to hustle, and that we, we deserve to be at the table and not receiving the crumbs from the floor. And that's what I enjoy about working with uh, professionals as yourself and Miss Ross, and that is you. We're finally understanding that we can be at the table, and it, and it's just not the big wigs, but it's the common people, the everyday people, the small mom and pop. Whereas I give you a try. Can I? Can I? Can I testify right quick? I'm going to testify. There okay. is a lady who comes to Jazz at the Creek, uh, and she's a vendor, and she sells one product. And that's caramelized uh, pecans. And to this very date, I have not met anybody who has tasted one of her caramelized pecans that don't go buy, back and buy two and three and four jars. Th- those things are so amazing. And she's small business that, you know, I'm trying to give them out for, uh, for Christmas gifts. And, and she, she was like saying, yeah, my orders are getting bigger and bigger and bitter, bigger. But she took, she's taking one little product. You know, and grown it. I look at my 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 family bakery, uh, Mommy Helen's original family bakery in uh, San Bernardino right now. They they started just making these pies for home, and 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 Aunt Barbara made a mistake one day and took uh, a peach cobbler to a, a Christmas party, and the rest is history. Now <laughs> they 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 have I think their facility is oh, almost twenty thousand square feet, or it's is a big facility in San Bernardino. They got four and five hundred pie ovens and literally cannot uh, fill all the orders every year. 
everybody from Oprah Winfrey to Steve Harvey, everybody orders their pies from Mommy Helen's Original Bakery. So I, I want to encourage business people that it, it's, it doesn't have to be this big, fabulous thing. It could just be one thing, and it will shift your life. That's, I love that. I absolutely love that. And I, I, I hope that people are really listening. Entrepreneurs, like whatever your dream is, now is the time. Mm -hmm. Now is the time to go for it. Today is the California Venues Grant. Tomorrow it'll be the California Dreams Grant. There's about five or six different programs that California is coming out with in the next month or so um, to help us to provide seed money, mm -hmm. to provide grants, grant money to keep these businesses afloat or to help you start a business. And if you can't find that money, call us. Let's see if we can put our heads together and figure out how to get you some help because the help is out there. The money is out there. Now is the time. Uh, and I don't call me talking about why well, I got a prototype, but I ain't sold nothing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we, you know, there's some rules to this. Yeah. There's some rules to this. I don't have a bank account. I don't have a business account, but you know, I got this prototype. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got, we got work to do. One. Yeah. We got some work to do, but we'll help you. We have yeah. the t we have the means to help you to get to get um, established. That's the one one last thing I wanted to say because I know you're about to cut me off. Um, documentation that you need for the California Venues Grant. Yeah, gonna ask you for an application certification. You need your 2019 and 2020 full federal and state tax return, both of them, mm -hmm. not one or the other. You need both for both 2019 and 2020 government issued ID, financial statements, your profit and loss statement for quarters two, three, and four for 2019 and 2020, your secretary of state filing documents, that's your articles of incorporation, mm -hmm. your certificate of organization, your fictitious name of registration, government issued business license, um, and it has to be dated on or before June 1, 2019, mm -hmm. very similar to the California Relief Grant. And if you're a nonprofit, you need your tax exempt letter. There are certain, um, next codes that they have on the site you have to fall in within one of those mm -hmm. when you're filling out the application but very important that's the information you need it's not a whole lot you don't need it today you just need to do the application 10 to 15 minutes out of your day could change your life amen amen and and, and lord lord i promise you i'm not gonna fill that application out because i know i don't qualify but oh it sounds so good to me in jesus name so <laughs> let me say this so selena i'm gonna put you on the spot right now and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna finish up with Miss Ross. I think that you need to be on my morning show at least once a month so that we can make sure we keep everybody abreast and everything like that. And I might have to do some special shows with you because you got a lot to give. So you hit me up, you know, because I ain't gonna cut you off because I need we need this information. Now, uh, uh, uh sister Ross, praise the Lord. Um, my question to you is um, uh, and for both of you guys, how, where do they go to apply for the grant? Um, where do they go to, uh, continue to stay connected with Lindustry? Uh, tell them what, where, and how, and all the other good stuff. So the website to apply is cavenuesgrant.com. Um, and when you apply, um, as she was saying that you don't have to upload your documents, make sure you go all the way to the end where it says come back later. Okay don't get to that point then you didn't you didn't submit your that portion of the um, application okay. um, also when you get to the next code portion on your application if it does not match your tax returns you want to pick the next code that best um, suits your business that best describes your business mm -hmm. Uh, don't say, oh, no, I don't have the right one. Just pick the one that best describes your business and keep going. So at least you can get your application in um, because today is the last day. There's no excuse tomorrow if you try to go on, it's over. So the best thing to do is get that application in today. Well, today well, at well. 5 o'clock. Today five at 5 o'clock. Not 5.01. Five, not five don't call me at 4.59. Yeah. Talking about, oh my gosh, I can't make it work. Listen, we got to do things decent and in order. Yes, yes. Five o'clock is cut off. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want, I want to say this to everybody. Now, this is how real they are. They done put up there and they said, you can go to C-A-V-E-N-U-E-S grant.com. 
how you say that? Uh, Cal or Cal Ven Cal Venues Grant. That's it. Cal Venues <laughs> Grant. Um, and so uh, that is C A V E N U E S Grant dot com. Now, uh, if you want to get in touch with Miss Pryor or her team, you could go to B S B A. And the number here. Look at this. How how they do it? Nine one six. Five seven three zero six seven seven. I'm going to say that again. Nine one six five seven three zero six seven seven. Selena, you say it now so they hear it. Nine one six five seven three zero six seven seven. Now, if y'all know Pookie and them and Shaquita and little Ray Ray, you know, you tell them that Selena is real, Miss Ross is real, and if you about being real and in business, you want to hit them up and get started. And if you have a vision, write it down, make it plain, and then when you do the processes, then you can go to them and they can take you to the next level. The one thing I love about Miss Pryor is Selena Pryor is the fact that she keeps you connected right and tight for California and abroad. Now, Miss Ross, who's going to be one of our new best friends because she was Lindustry. We know that when Lindustry got something good, I tell you, they're going to bring it to us and we're going to be able to say, hmm, I didn't know. And for the rest of y'all, if y'all might say, well, we didn't know it happened, stay tuned to G.O.D. Radio 1 and realize that we're going to bring you the best. Sister Selena, any final words? Thank you so much for the opportunity to bring the information to the community. Yes, yes, yes. Miss Ross, any final words? Thank you very much for having us today, and I hope everyone gets a piece of the grant. Well, with that being said, this is the end of our show today. Y'all be blessed and have an amazing day. Stay tuned to G.O.D. Radio 1. Download the app. Go to the website. 24 hours of eclectic, great gospel music and information right here on G.O.D. Radio 1.com.